All right, traders, we are going to be going over the stock market, doing an in-depth price action analysis on the SPY. And we're also going to be going over the top stocks that I'm going to be watching for tomorrow. This video is going to prepare you to trade the best setups at the best prices. I have some great micro trades lined up for tomorrow. I'm going to be sharing them with you. I'm also going to be recapping the trade that I ended up making today. I did end up making my best trade of 2022 so far. It was on a space SPCE call option made nearly a 400% return on that in about three hours. So I'm going to be going over that towards the end of that video. I can assure you this is going to be packed with educational, valuable information towards the end. So make sure you stay till then. Let's get right into it. So first things first, let's go over the SPY. So in terms of the SPY, we talked about how in yesterday's video, you know, from a micro point of view, it was due for some sort of spike. It was due for some sort of pushback that I kept mentioning from around 445 to 446. Well, we did see the micro move. Um, it's not a shocker because this was down three days in a row pretty big. Plus, you had this trend reversal-ish candlestick come in on day three, right, which was towards some key support. So it's not too much of a shock in that sense of the whole micro um, bounce. Now, here's what I want you to understand in terms of the daily chart right now. The daily chart, there is no confirmation to be adding to a macro put swing right now. There just isn't. As of now, the daily chart has turned um, you know, micro bullish just by looking at the candlestick. Now, in order for this to stay micro bullish, here's what needs to happen heading into tomorrow. What needs to happen is for this to stay micro bullish, it needs to stay above $444. That is going to be your key support level, $444. If that cracks and reacts as a resistance level, the bears are going to take control and they're going to start to run this back into $435 range within two days from that crack and react of resistance. Now for the bulls to remain in strong control for the micro, they need to break above $446 and turn that into support. If that can occur, SPY will be on track to run to about right here, which is going to be $451. So basically what you need to understand is we are currently in a micro price channel. It is going to be a two point price channel. And if the bears can crack 444 and turn it into resistance, they will take control and they'll start to fill this gap at 439. Now, if the bulls, for them to continue to run this and for them to take control, they need to break above 446, turn it to support, then it'll be on track for a run to 451. So those are the current micro price action analysis in terms of the SPY and what to look for. Keep those two numbers in mind. So if you see weakness, if you see it struggling at 446, it's going to be bound to try to crack 444. Once 440 cracks and turns into resistance, then it flips again and the bears take control for the micro, right? So this is just a minor flip for the micro, uh, for the bulls to really prove themselves. They need to hold 444, break above 446, turn into support. If they can do that, then they're truly in control for the micro. If they can break above 446 and turn that support, then they'll truly be in control. So that's the both ways price action analysis on the SPY. Now what I'm going to be sharing with you is um, the top plays, you know, the top setups, the top micro trades that I'm seeing. <clears throat> excuse me, the top micro trades that I'm seeing heading into this week. And then we're going to be recapping my trade on space. It was nearly a 400% return in three hours trading the call options today. So let's get into the best trades that I'm seeing right now. So I'm looking at a firm, you know, a firm looks very, very oversold um, for the micro, also for the macro as well. And it looks like it's due for some sort of spike. And you have this gap to fill right here at a $58.68 one of the reasons why I'm really liking this, um, you know, from a firm is the chart. You have key support right here at like $45. We're now sitting at new all time lows, but the chart, it just looks like, you know, when you see these bullish pins come up on a stock that's trading at a key support level, that's known for having some big moves, some big spikes within time, odds are it's going to have a short term trend reversal. So just by looking at the candlestick and the support level, the range of the chart, it looks like it's setting up for a nice bounce. That's what it looks like. So in terms of a firm, what I want you to focus on is focus on a green day. You could see right here. So it closed at 4480. So in terms of tomorrow, if you see it break above 4480, if you see it reacting as support, it's starting to break out. It's looking bullish at around 4490, you know, $45. 
scalp some call options and look for the breakout above 4577. If this can break above 4577, we'll be on track for a nice micro move, a nice micro move to at least 4750. So just keep that in mind on a firm. It is due for some sort of micro spike. It is due for some sort of micro bounce. I mean, just by looking at this chart, let me show you guys um, this picture I posted in the chat here real quick. Um, let me find this real quick. Let's see. See, it looks a little bit different on my phone. It looks very green and bullish. See right here. If it can stay above that black line and start to break out, like this is really going to have a nice, a nice spike. That's like a very bullish pin, that candlestick right there. Um, so yeah, just keep a close eye on a firm for the breakout opportunity. The same setup that I just shared with you is on another stock. It's going to be on Facebook. So Facebook has a triple bottom right here at $216. You can see it bombed at $216. It spiked to $234 the next day. Um, it bombed at $215. It spiked to $221 today. So it's been doing a good job of maintaining and holding this support. And you can see you have this very bullish candlestick coming in on the daily. And typically when they form these candlesticks on the daily, they do tend to spike the next day. That's why I'm telling you, if it's green tomorrow, you're going to want to get in early, do a nice little micro scalp, get in, get out on the calls, make your quick percentage. Um, with that being said, you know, let me just go a little bit further back in terms of the daily chart and kind of see if there's strong support towards 215s back here. Um, so let's see, let's see. Here's some key support. So yeah, there's some very strong support at 215 throughout the past, also, you know, throughout the short term. So if this is up tomorrow, you're gonna want to look to scalp and buy some micro calls. So keep in mind, these are day trading opportunities that I'm sharing with you. Um, so in terms of Facebook, if you see a strong positive reaction, a break above, you know, in terms of where it closed at, it closed at 221. Right now it's down a little bit after hours. So if you see it above 221 and it's looking strong, it's breaking out buy the calls and it should be able to get to at least 223 dollars so those can be some good micro scalps remember they have to be up they have to be looking bullish and strong within the volume um our next stock is going to be mu this is going to be a potential put opportunity that I want you to keep on your radar. You can see this stock has a lot of resistance at $96. You guys remember I was calling this one out for a great potential short when it was in you know, the lower 90s, then it crashed to 70s for a nice mic macro put opportunity. I went with Ford instead, which did phenomenal from 24 to 17s. Um, with that being said, there's a gap to fill at 97.36. So with this one, when you see it struggling at 97.36, when you see it forming a bearish candlestick on the daily chart, you're going to want to look to swing trade that, right? So for this one, it's more of an opportunity um, to swing trade. In my opinion, you can try scalping it if you see strong resistance come in. Um, as of now, though, you know, the daily chart is still bullish. We're, we're still seeing bullish candlesticks. But what I'm telling you is once you see the price channel develop, it's just kind of sitting towards resistance, sitting towards highs, forming bearish candlesticks. When it looks like this, when it looks exactly like this, right? Um, when it looks exactly like this, when you see that occurring, you're going to want to look to swing trade some macro put options. So this is going to be on my radar for a macro put options. As of now, there's no confirmation yet. Um, there is a gap to fill at 97.36. So that's going to be one level of interest in terms of waiting for weakness at around that range. Um, so yeah, that's my thoughts. That's my analysis on MU. It's due for some sort of pullback. Just got to wait for the confirmation. That should be a good one. You know, it had a very nice overreaction from 98 all-time highs to 76, now all the way back towards all-time highs. I mean, it's due for some sort of pullback. We just need to wait for the confirmation. For example, right here, you have this nice green green bar. Then you have confirmations come, come in here. You have nice confirmations coming here, and then it starts to sell off. So I'm looking for some sort of bearish confirmations on that one for a swing. Um, Roblox. Roblox had earnings. What I want you to understand about this one is your key level heading into tomorrow, your make it or break it support level is going to be this gap fill level right here at $58.18. If you see it react as strong support, buy the dip at 
use a very tight stop loss at like 57 50 at the most and then look to ride it back up into the 60 dollar range um you know like 62 63 64 dollar range right if it cracks that support level and you could see it almost filled the gap in after hours and it did already bounce back so that's a good potential sign um, but for Robux, wait for the gap to fill, wait to see how it reacts. You see the bullish confirmation, look to get in on it. If you see a negative, a bearish confirmation, I wouldn't chase it. It's already down, I think like 7% in after hours, something like that. Like it's already, it's already down, you know, a lot in after hours. So I wouldn't chase this one in terms of a put. I would just look for a bullish confirmation. If you get it right there towards 58, 18, that's going to be the key level, Ride it back up to the sixties. If you see the confirmation, um, upstart. Upstart had had earnings. I had a nice scalp on this, you know, alerted within the chat room real time. Um, I ended up buying this shortly after earnings. You know, I did shares. I got in at 122, got out at 132, made a quick 10 points a share on 100 shares, so a quick K. Um, with that being said, you know, in terms of Upstart, what I want you to understand about this one is your key level heading into tomorrow is going to be this right here. This is going to be your key support level. We're going to call it 130 to 132. That's your key support. If that cracks and reacts as a resistance level, this is what's going to happen. It's going to turn bearish. It's going to be a gap fill, fill the gap below play, the gap fill strategy. For example, right here, they released earnings. It had a massive gap up and then it filled the gap below, closed week at the lows. That's what's going to happen if it cracks. 130 to 132 in this you know zone that i drew right here starts to react as a resistance level now if this can hold up above 130s and start to break above 134 it's going to be bullish and it's going to run to about 145 to 150 so that's what i want you to pay attention um in terms of you know upstart and just keep in mind you know this could be a great key breakdown opportunity where it starts to crack the support and you scalp some put options and ride this back down to fill the gap below so this is like going to be a number one primed um key breakout potential setup if we get that confirmation that crack to scalp some puts because it's held up on thin air that's the reason why um so yeah keep in mind in terms of upstart but if it's bullish and it holds up then in terms of like how big can it run like back to back to like this 149 ish uh, level so we'll see it's definitely on my radar you know the stock has been beaten down very very badly it's definitely more on that oversold side um we'll see there's also a gap to fill right here so there is some macro potential um in terms of calls like long long super long-term leaps on upstart along with a uh, space which is going to be the next stock we're going over so in terms of space let's get into the trade recap and what i think about space moving forward as it is currently trending up in after hours a little bit gapping up for day two um let's take a look at the chart right so first things first um we're going to recap the trade then i'm going to share with you my updated thoughts updated price action analysis so you can see right here within the chat room at 10:02 a.m i bought calls on space at 13 cents um, the strike was $11, which was a further out of money expiration, and it expires this Friday on February 18th. Then I gave some update alerts at 10.09 a.m. stating that if 9.50 turns into support, space should have a big week. And then I gave another update at 10.15 a.m. Space just turned 9.50 into support. This is an A1 setup, which is something I don't throw around often in terms of A1 setups. I rarely say that. So that was great confirmation right there as well. Um, stating it was an A1 setup and a nice gap fill play. I believe there was a gap to fill in the 12s. We'll be covering that here shortly. And you can see right here, um, the volume is also crazy high. This should run this week. And then in terms of uh, further updates at 2.09 p.m. So basically, you know, you know, four hours later. So it was four hours later. Um, I sold my call options. I sold them at 64 cents. I got in at 13 cents, 392% return. This was the best trade of the year um, so far, especially percentage wise. That was absolutely killer. And in terms of the day, I got out at a very, very good exit too. So we're going to be going over that. Um, in terms of the contracts that I bought, these were the contracts right here. You could see they had the most volume on the day. Um, it was $11 strike, Friday expiration. And the volume was at 103,000. The contracts were up 1,500%. You could see some were up less, some were up more, some were up 2,000%. Insane day, man. This was like one of my, this is going to go down as one of my best trades of, for the year. You know, to make a 400% return in four hours, that's like 100% per hour. Um, These were the contracts. 
And um, you could see like, it's just, it's unreal what you can do with these options. And I'm going to be sharing with you some of the strategy here shortly. Then we're going to be going over the, the further update. Um, you could see right here, you know, these opened up at four cents. You could have gotten in four cents within the first like seven minutes of the market. These were trading from four to six cents. Um, so I bought them at like 10.02 a.m. So I bought them right um, right here when this was trading at 13 cents. I got in right here. Um, and then in terms of the exit, the exit was sent out at, what was it, 2.03 p.m. Exit was sent out right here at 2.09 p.m. So the exit was right, um, let's see, let's see. So 2.09 p.m. is is right here. So towards 64 cents, it's crazy. It did, it did have a nice spike to 90 cents. It went all the way to 90 cents. That's crazy. I got out at 64 cents. Um, but yeah, that's like the option contract. That's what the chart looks like in terms of the contracts. Pro tip, when you're swing trading options, this is something that um, I'm going to start doing. When you are when you swing trade options, look at the daily chart on the option contract as well. Don't just look at the daily chart on... Um, you know, on the stock, look at the daily chart on the option contracts. It's going to give you a really good idea um, in terms of the candlesticks and how high it can go as well. But anyways, in terms of space, right? What value did I see in this? What strategy was I was I using? Um, you know, this stock, it's extremely oversold, right? And the market was having a very nice bullish gap up. The stock is extremely oversold. Um, just by looking at its chart history, it bonded at 690. And it's, it's had a history of having massive run-ups in a short period of time when the news is right when the catalyst is right this stock can spike and move up very very quickly consistently and that's what we could potentially be seeing here which is what i'm going to be talking about you can see it went from 690 um all the way to 40 dollars um you know back to nine dollars all the way to 62 dollars um, back to 14 all the way to almost 60 dollars right so it has a strong history of strong support from the seven, ten to fifteen dollar range, um, it recently bottomed out at you know seven dollars and fifty eight cents. So you had the very, very strong support, and this is what caught my eye. It was mainly the news and the volume. That's what that's what really caught my eye. So in terms of the chart, what I love about the chart is you know when the news is when the news and the volume is there, this stock like you could see when the volume look at the volume comes in here. And then over time, more volume it just rips, right? If you just pay attention to how it reacts with the volume in the news, it loves to gap and go. It just loves to close strong when it gaps up as well. So nice gap and go to fill the gap play. Um, but the news is what caught my attention. So, you know, in terms of news, not really going to go into that. You can like go back and see all the research, all the, but basically like in terms of today, this stock had the biggest catalyst. It was just nonstop news, nonstop news, nonstop news. Um, it outperformed the market, right? But what caught my eye was, you know, not only the news, it was mainly the volume. I was looking at the volume and on this day, I noticed it had a very nice green day. It had a strong gap up on this day from bottoming out this previous support, which is where it was previously yesterday. Um, and on this day, the volume was at 15 million. I believe when I got in, the volume was sitting at 20 million. And I told myself like, it's only 10 AM and the volume's already at 20 million. And I'm looking at what it previously did. This previously gapped up, closed strong at the highs right here. And this went from 824 to 923 in a single day. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, man, this has the news. This has the catalyst. It has the volume. It, it already outpour, outperformed an insane volume day, um, you know, by 10 a.m. So when you see that strong volume come in with the news, you're going to want to look to be buying, you know, because it's just going to run and the volume ended up at 181 million. So now everyone's in on this thing. I got in when it was at like 20 million, you know, very early in the morning. Um, but with that being said, that's what really caught my eye. It was mainly the news, the volume. Um, in terms of the daily chart, it has that history of spiking big, of gapping up big. It also has a history of when it does gap up, it likes to gap and go. It likes to close strong at the highs when it does gap up, especially with some volume. And then, you know, you had the strong support here. You had some higher support form right here. You could see it was a very nice gap close reversal. Actually, there was a gap to fill on space right here at eight dollars and 14 cents yesterday it bottomed at that eight dollar 14 level today it gapped up meaning it's having a gap close reversal and then from there it was playing for the gap to fill you know because i recognize the potential this had with the news out and with the volume out and the strength that the market had as well i recognize this can be a very very nice green day especially since it surpassed the volume on this nice green day by 10 a.m um so then i'm looking at the chart 
And, you know, I was saying this 950 level, that's going to be your key level. Why was I saying that? Um, look at the daily right here. So 950 is going to be, there was a gap to fill at 937 and you had key resistance right here at 950. See how it touched 950 and it closed weak at the lows. It went to 879, right? And then it's a key gap fill level. So if this can go above 950 and turn that into support, which it did quickly and I gave the update, it's just going to really start to run with the news and volume in play. And it was also playing for the gap fill. You know, so in terms of strategy, it was like it was a gap close reversal. Then the gap breakout level is right here. And then it's just playing for the gap to fill from there. So moving forward, what I need you to understand about space is there's a gap to fill at $12.30. This stock loves to, you know, this stock can run big very, very quickly with the right news and the right, you know, catalyst with the right amount of volume. You can see the volume is insane, right? So what I want you to understand moving forward is, you know, I played it safe. I locked in my profits. 400%, I'm taking it. Lately with swings, the mic, the, the micro has just been flipping so quickly. The micro movements have been flipping back and forth so quickly. They've been killing swing trades. So I'm really just focused on, you know, day trading, but trying to be patient when I'm day trading too, so I can maximize the move like I did with space. But what I want you to understand moving forward is your key level is going to be $11. This is going to be the gap breakout level at $11. If $11 breaks out and turns into support, space is going to continue to run and it's going to fill this gap. There's a gap to fill at 1237. Once that gap fills, if it reacts as a resistance level, it goes back to 11. If it breaks out and reacts as support, that's very strong and it's going to push to mid 13s to low 14s. So right now in terms of the micro, focus on $11. If it breaks out, looks good, you see strong support come in, you're going to want to look to buy it, play for the gap fill. If it starts to break down and looks bearish, it's going to start selling off back to about 970. So that's what I want you to understand about space um, moving forward. Right now, it is already attempting to turn it into support. I think by pre-market and market open, we'll have the dead giveaway on what direction this stock is heading, but you can see it's already turning previous highs into support. So we'll see um, how it does. But yeah, guys, that was phenomenal. That was like one of the best plays um, of the year. So nice gap close reversal, um, a nice gap up, gap and go play. Um, gap breakout potentially coming up to then fill this gap. You can see there's a lot of different strategies you can connect in one single play and one single opportunity. But yeah, the news was there. The volume was there. It made perfect sense. So if you see something, you know, very oversold that hasn't gapped up much because, you know, this closed at 814 and it opened at 893. It wasn't some sort of massive gap up. And the news outweighed that move. Like the news was very, very positive on this. And the volume was so strong. The volume had 21 million, you know, within the first 30 minutes. So when you see that happen, that means that this move hasn't been processed yet. Once it starts to process, the call options are going to take off. So when you see that happen early in the morning, right, that's going to be a gift. That's going to be an opportunity to get in before everyone else. And I recognize that. And I really took advantage of that um, pump before it was really pumped. So yeah, that's my thoughts. That's my analysis on space. Eleven dollars is your key level. If it breaks down, reacts as a resistance, a little micro pullback to nine fifty. If it breaks out, reacts to support, a strong breakout to fill the gap at twelve thirty. Um, you could see it's already triggering. It just triggered the squeeze here on after hours. And in terms of the daily chart, we did get some confirmation that a squeeze is trying to come in here as well. I mean, just by looking at the past of what has happened, look at this. The first teal bar comes in right here. And then it just ramps up from 20 to 40 within a week. Um, and it's not the first time it's done that. It's done that several times. If we go further back, I'll show you another prime example. So right around here is when the first teal bar came in. As soon as it came in, this went from, you know, like, what was this? 875 to $20 within like a couple weeks. And it is a strong history of really you know, gapping and going. So you can also consider, I'm going to be waiting a little bit on this. Um, but at some point I do want to buy some macro call options. And I'm talking like really macro, like some further out leaps, at least 90 days, at least 90 days on the call options, because this stock does have that potential to fill these gaps over time. You know, there's gaps to fill at 20, there's gaps to fill at 23, there's gaps to fill at 31. I also picked up shares today, I actually bought my shares earlier before I bought those options. Um, I alerted that in real time as well. Um, I bought my shares very early in the morning. 
but yeah, I, I, I personally think it's, it's a great long-term investment as well, you know, at these current levels. And I'm going to be looking into some leap options when I feel the time is right. I need more of a confirmation to buy some leap calls, but when I feel the time is right, I'm definitely going to be buying some and giving those plenty of time. So that's my thoughts. That's my analysis um, in terms of space and what to look for tomorrow. And if you do want to be a part of trader society, where you get access to my private group, you know, within the chat room. You can direct message me one on one within the chat room. You get access to live trading sessions daily at Market Open. You get access to the stock analysis, the watch list. Um, there's a lot to it. All of the information is going to be on the first link down below in the description. Once you are ready, click that first link and sign up, and you could start trading with us as soon as tomorrow. I will see you guys within the next video lesson. And for those of you within Trader Society, I will see you tomorrow live at Market Open.